Yo boys, what's good? Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do what you just saw in the intro a few seconds ago. So, so what you're gonna need for this is your song and your clip, obviously. I'm gonna leave this clip in the uh, in a Google Drive in the description if you wanna download and try to recreate what I did. So, I'm gonna be I'm using the song Out of Time. It's by Kill Bunk and Dusty Stay True. First things first, what we're gonna do is the velocity. Now, where I want my thing to start, I'm gonna put a marker on it right there. That's where I'm gonna start mine at least. And now I'm gonna cut my clip clip from that back. And now I'm going to just drag it to where I can, a good spot. So right here where I start, there's no window. So I'm going to drag it so I can see the window. So there, I see the window now. So I'm going to be able to mask that later. Pretty much now, what you want to do is go to the first room, see numbers. So right there. Control B clip. Um, split it and now drag it over to the beat drop. So I have my beat drop marked. You should do that. And now I'm going to cut it right where I want it to start. And now I'm going to drag this up. And now I'm going to right click. Go to return control and right click every time curve zoom in a little bit and now we see this drop down you're gonna click that every time speed unclick every time frame and now i'm gonna go to the very end and i'm gonna go one two three four five frames back at a speed point and then i'm going to go here and drag this down to about 15 percent speed so there and now you can see that made it really long like w almost as long as the whole clip so now i'm going to go to the end part five frames part drag that up now I'm going to put my playhead on exactly where the beat drop is. You have to make it exactly where you cut this and where the kill is. And now you're going to click this little circle and drag it all the way back. And you're going to zoom in and make sure this lines up perfectly with that. So now, when you play it, you slow motion. But you're going to see it's low FPS, so you can quick click on this. You're going to go to video and then down to return scaling. And you're, now what you're going to do is go to return process, click optical flow. And then motion estimation, enhance better, and resize filter smoother. So this will make it really like just smooth. So that looks really nice. So now you're gonna want to close your time curve. You can drag this back down if you want. And now I'm gonna go on the kill, open every time curve. And then you're gonna zoom in and just click this little drop down and retime speed, unclick every time frame again. So now you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen frames forward at a speed point, and then drag this up. And then you're going to drag this down to about 33%, or about 30, I don't really care, it doesn't matter. And you just click on this and make sure it's optical flow, and it's better, smoother again. Now what you want to do is, um, now you're going to do is pretty much you're going to want to do this, click on this clip, build up part, hold alt, and drag it up. And once you do that, you're going to want to go into the color tab while under this, selecting this. And so now what you want to do is pretty much you're going to go into full res, so turn off quarter res if you have that on. And you're just going to go to this thing and then click the pen tool. And now what you want to do is keyframe corrector one. And now what you want to do is make mask out the the window. So before I before I say this, I forgot to add that you can do this on a window clip. So you could use the clip I'm using, but it's so it's possible for, for pretty much anything. So I can show you right here. I have another clip, um, with this one. Um, here you can like do it across the windows, like you do that. Or you can just do around a character, around any type of edit, to be honest. You can do it around the, around the enemy character, anything. So you can try with anything. It doesn't have to just be a window. Keep from corrector one, and now you just want to pretty much make a perfect mask of the window. So you're going to have to want to zoom in and just perfectly mask it. And I'm going to avoid cutting around the character, just you'll see later, because we're going to mask out the character, and it'll just make it look weird, because if you have like the glowing edges, it'll go around the character's arm, which will be weird, it doesn't look natural. So that's the first frame, and pretty much you just want to do every single frame. It's not going to move that much because you have slow motion, but every once in a while you might just have to move it up a little bit. And yeah, just go till the very end, I'll see you when that's done, when I'm, when I'm done. Alright, and now you just want to come to this grid right here, right click, and add alpha output, and connect this black square to this blue circle, and that'll just pretty much make the mask um, complete pretty much. And so now what you're going to want to do is come over to this clip where you cut out the window, right click on it, and make it a compound clip. So by doing that, right click, new compound clip, you can name it anything you want, I'm just going to make the compound clip one. And that you can see right there, that's cut out the window. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in on your search bar, Ecto. And now what you're going to need for this is universe plugins. So I'm going to leave a tutorial in the description on how to get them, so it's totally fine. You just follow that tutorial and you'll get the plugins. So they're pretty much as you can see, if you drag Uni Ecto over the clip, it'll make it kind of the fire looking thing. But now before we change any settings, as you can see, there's a bit of a 
problem there. You can see like the character's arms kind of cut off. So now what you want to do is click on this, the clip at the very bottom, the slow mo. Hold Alt on it and drag it another copy up above the window. So now what you want to do is go into that in the color tab. Now what you're going to want to do is click on that, click on the pen tool, and make the softness about five. And you're just going to keyframe corrector one, and right click, add alpha output, connect the black square to the blue circle, and you have to do all of this before masking. Please trust me, it'll mess up completely if you don't do all this before masking. So now what you want to do is just mask the character. I know before I've said like this is not the easiest way to do it, but if you just do like kind of a rough job, it still looks pretty fine. So you can do this. It'll take maybe five, ten minutes. If you don't want to, you can just add a circle, but I recommend doing the mask. Or you can just don't have to mask the character at all if you're fine with if your clip or just you, you're fine with the arm getting cut out, or if your clip your character's not in the way of the window, you can just do that and you can skip. Alright, so I finally finished. That took a little longer than I thought it would. So, yeah, I, I mean, you could do it, but like, don't put as many, don't put as many dots. Like, I put like a million dots here, and that screwed me over big time. Like, don't put a ton of dots. Like, just try to keep it a, a small amount. Look how many I started with, look how many I ended with. But now what you want to do is go back in the edit, edit tab, and just to show you the mask, I'll do well, this is the mask I have. It's got a softness on it. Now we're going to do a skin glow, but first off, I'm going to just gonna this clip on the bottom part. I'm just going to make the opacity 11, 12 around there, just so it's dark so we can see everything. But now I'm going to add, and for this, you're gonna need Sapphire plugins. I have a working link in the description for them, so just go install those if you don't have them already for some reason. But yeah, um, so now. You're going to type in S underscore edge colorize. So edge colorize right there. Don't crash. All right. Drag that on top. It's going to make it look really ugly at first, I guarantee. Now this is where you're going to want to choose your color. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna go with blue again. So I'm going to do like a baby blue, light blue, sky blue, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to make just all this light blue. So there, that's, that's the glow. Turn it off. You can see it looks pretty cool. But I'm gonna add a little another something to it because it should make it look a little better. It's underscore raise. So what you want to do is now um, click on this and press hold alt. Drag it up and then on this bottom one, drag on a raise. So there's raise coming off from the bottom. And now what you just want to do is change the ray length to one and then ray color to whatever you made the skin glow and then threshold about 0.1 and it looks super sick like that so make sure you make sure it, the rays are on the bottom layer not the top layer bottom layer make sure of that all right so now what you're going to want to do is go back to the, the the window and you're just going to want to make sure both of them are the color of your skin glow so just make it a little lighter maybe make it a little darker just be making that lighter kind of so there and i'm going to make the distortion 25 and then we'll make the glow intensity probably about one in the size size maybe around 35 right around there all right so now what you want to do is pretty much select these three and you want to compound clip them so new compound clip create and you're just going to want to make it fade in for 10 frames so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten drag it in and then now you're going to go to this one with opacity at the very beginning, keyframe it, make it 100, and then go 10 frames in, and you're going to make it 10. And so that's just so it, it kind of fades in this effect. I'm going to have some presets in the description with the tutorial on how to import them. You're just going to drag on the dissolve shake first, the dissolve shake. Click on it at the very beginning. The keyframes kind of messed up all the time, so at the beginning, make it 0, and at the very end, make it about 0 0.7. Flicker, flicker build up, drag that on. And make sure at the very beginning it's keyframed at zero and at the very end it is getting its keyframed at zero and at the end it is keyframed at about 0 0.5 you're going to want to have an impact obviously so drag on the hard tilt impact all caps drag that on that'll already be keyframed for you it's a really good shake like that and now you're going to want to go and drag on 150 sat duration on kill drag that on and make it fade out through the back now lastly for the effects on the kill flicker drag on the flicker 
flicker and you can just make it fade out. You're gonna want to drag on some sound effects. So now I'm going to drag on high quality pump sound effect. This is all in the description. And now you're going to want to drag on sound seven on the kill, kind of lining up like this right there, and then make the volume negative five. And now you're just gonna drag on the God Build Up sound effect. Uh, I'll link this in the description too. And you're gonna sync that up. And now you're gonna wanna make sure on the kill, synced up, and then go 10 frames from the kill. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Split. Um, and then just drag, fade it out for 10 frames. So it's gonna be And then make sure it starts and you fade it in during the buildup. At the time of recording this video, we're like 500 subs away from 10k and it's probably going up um, this weekend when I, when I record it so please subscribe if you're new um, and yeah peace.